you're at a moment in history that is as defining as anything in the Old Testament. You're at a point where some people have to have the courage to witness for Christ. Some people have to have the courage to stand up and tell the truth to their flock. Some people have to have the courage to get into the public arena themselves. I'm particularly proud of what David has done in developing an entire program nationwide to encourage ministers to run for office. And why shouldn't they? Ministers are educated. They're used to leading people. They're articulate. They study. And they bring a whole new, fresh look. You know, if you go back to the period of the American Revolution, there were a lot of folks who had a theology background who were directly engaged. There were a number of pastors who were directly engaged in the Declaration of Independence and in the shaping and defining of America and the winning of the American Revolution. So there's a long tradition in America that you have every right as a citizen to bring your witness into the public square. So I want to take just a minute and share with you that I believe that we desperately need your help. That this is an unusual time. We, we have not seen the Judeo-Christian historic traditions threatened the way they are today, ever in American history. You have a chance to turn all this around. You have a chance to work in a program with people like David Lane, to reach out running yourself, encouraging others to run, encouraging your flock to understand why it's important. And finally, I think you have a duty. You have a duty to have the courage to stand up and tell the truth. Tell the truth about those who would impose a totalitarian secularism on us, force us to bow to the power of the government in order to do things that our religion forbids. You have a duty to tell the truth about those who would kill us in the name of Islamic supremacism. And if you do your duty, you will be part of launching a great awakening that could once again help America.